Hi, this is Petey Pizarro. Hey, this is Sam from Paradise Fears. Hey guys, it's Zach from All Star Weekend, and you're listening to KDC Worldwide. So what can people expect when they go to a big Hot Shell Ray show? Um, you can definitely expect a lot of energy. We we like to show our musicianship off in our shows because we definitely write simple pop songs. So when you come to our show, we kind of get to express that a little bit more. A lot of energy, a lot of screaming, and just a lot of fun. It's, it's so much fun. It's my favorite part of what we do. Sounds good. And what's your favorite song to perform when you're on tour? Um, I have a couple. Right now, it's probably between I Like It Like That and Honestly, because Honestly is the new single, and you can kind of see people starting to pick it up slowly every show we play. A couple more people are singing, but with I Like It Like That, you know, we have the rap feature with the new boys on there, so we... We break it down in the middle of the song and we bring two rap guest winners up on stage and we give them hats and glasses and we just, we let them do the rap and it is so much fun. Sounds like it. What is the most exciting thing about being a headliner on tour? Well, this is one of the little things, but you get your own dressing room every day. That's pretty much the best thing ever. You get your own dressing room. You don't have anyone telling you what to do, and you get to play long sets for the fans. We've been used to playing 30 minutes, 40 minutes at the most for everybody we play for, and we get to come out and play an hour to an hour and a half every night. A lot more power, a lot more room to do what you want to do, and you kind of get to just create your own show, whereas before you've been catering to someone else, and you kind of got to listen to whatever they say. There are a lot of guys on your tour right now, so is there lots of pranking? There's always been a lot of pranking, especially in our band. We just, we like to mess around way too much. Like one time, we decided it would be a good idea to steal Ian's phone from him and put it in a backpack that some someone that wasn't aware of the prank would put it in their backpack. So for nine hours, Ian didn't have a phone. He was losing his mind. Oh, that's great. That's a good one. Yeah, we had, we had an we had an artist out named Katie Groves. She was on the first part of this headliner tour, and her last day, we we took our shirts off and started walking across the stage with talking on our cell phones and stuff like that. Just random little stuff. It's all so much fun. Jeez, you guys are pranking masters. <laughs> with all the craziness that's going on on stage, has there been any crazy things that a fan has done to try and get your attention? Um... There's definitely the marriage proposal on Twitter. Those come through pretty much every day. Those are those are funny though. But honestly, we don't have really too many crazy fans. We have a couple, but we have really dedicated, loyal. They're just they're awesome. And I, this this was on stage, but it's probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to us. So I have to tell it anyway. We were playing a show in Amsterdam recently and these girls, these four girls took it upon themselves. They cut out 750 paper hearts and wrote, we keep you with us on them because we have a song that's called Keep You With Me. And when we started to play that song, they held those up and we were not expecting that. And I haven't told anyone this yet, but I did tear up. We always say we almost did, but I did. Oh, that's so sweet, though. It was, it was, it was my favorite moment that has ever been in this band. It was the coolest thing that's ever happened. Yeah, it's definitely something you got to remember forever, right? I will never ever forget that. And luckily, he and our bass player ran off stage and grabbed his phone as soon as it happened and snapped the picture. So we've got it. You should definitely check it out. It's amazing. Speaking of all the touring and that sort of thing, you've had the chance to go to so many cool places like Australia and all over Europe. What has been your favorite place to visit? Uh, the favorite right now is definitely Australia. Not only because we have, I don't know what has happened over there, but we just have an unbelievable fan base there. I'm sure going on tour with Taylor Swift didn't hurt that very much, but we, we, we I just love it over there. It is the best place that I've ever been. The people are so nice. 
That's so great. Is it tough to tour in other countries with the culture differences and stuff like that? Um, it really depends. If you're in a country that speaks your language and is easy to get around, that's not too hard, but it definitely can be a little bit of a challenge when you're sitting in the middle of Germany and nobody knows anything and you just don't know what to do. It can definitely be a little tough. That's when you start learning how to say, do you speak English in different languages? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're, we're going to uh, Japan in June and I think that I'm going to need about six translators over there. <laughs> Definitely. Keep them with you at all times, like a posse. <laughs> okay, so what is one place that you would love to see? Uh, one place that I would love to see. On tour or off of tour? Either. Like, what's one place you'd just love to uh, go to? Off of tour, I want to go to Dubai because I don't know if you've seen the pictures of what's going on there lately, but it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and then... On tour, I would say I want to go back to Australia again because we have we have just unreal following. When we were playing shows over there with Taylor, we we expected to go over there and be like an opener, but when we played, it felt like we were playing to all of our own fans. Like I would say, at least half the arenas every night were seeing all the words, all of our songs, rather than just the singles. So that really, that really blew our mind and made us really hungry to go back over there. Yeah, that sounds incredible. You've definitely become fans of Australia, from what I can tell. Oh, yes. I'm ready to move. <laughs> hey, this is Jamie from Hot Shell Ray, and you're listening to KC Worldwide.